Can you believe it's already been 30 days since I got my Purple Hybrid Premier 3 mattress? This video is going to be my review of the past 30 days. You don't want to miss it. I do want to say in my original video, the unboxing first impressions and all that, I know that I did not get one of those little purple slicers when I had to open up the plastic bag. Well, remember how the thing was nasty? And I'm going to link the video at the end if you didn't see it. But the bag that came with was nasty. I didn't really want to touch it. I was being careful. Well, when I was packing things away um, to throw it away, this fell out. So I ended up getting one and I didn't even know it. So this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like it. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at the last 30 days of this Purple Hybrid Premier review video. So, I wanted to show you what lengths I went to to get that mattress out of my house. Check out this picture. Yeah, that's not even photoshopped. I literally put it on the top of my Subaru and drove it to the dump. It was that bad. I couldn't even repurpose it in my house. I would have felt bad having someone else use it because it was terrible. But you know what? Subarus rock. Here it is. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Purple! King size mattress. All right, so let's just look at this real quick. It's got this nice textured top, right? In here is the purple grid. I have the purple three, as you saw. So it's three inches of that purple stuff all the way around, except for the very border here. This border, about, I don't know. Five inches is not part of that purple grid but here is the first look let's put on the mattress cover that came with it all right so this protector fits on really tight I did want to show you that this is a, a stretchy material which is pretty cool because it just wraps around and fits snugly on the mattress I did want to show you one thing real quick do you ever have trouble where you don't know which side or what, how to put the sheets on. Look what this does. It actually has a spot that says head foot. So you know that this either goes at the head or at the foot. And it's right in the middle. So you never put the mattress protector on wrong. There it is. I really like how the sheets tuck under there really, really far. So they're not going to pull out in the middle of the night. There's nothing worse than when the sheets pull out and you have to tuck them back in. So great thinking purple. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about transfer on this mattress. Look as I'm moving this cup of water. Sure, I could tip it if I wanted to, but I'm pushing around and it's not tipping over, which is nice because you're not interrupting anyone else on the bed. The cool thing is here, my camera is actually sitting on the mattress and although you can see it move, it's really not moving a whole lot. Pretty cool. So... It's been about one week since I started using the purple mattress. And I'm going to be honest with you, my neck is sore. So I'm trying to think about the differences that have happened. One, I got a new mattress, right? And it definitely is comfortable, but I also got a new pillow. This is the purple, the tall 7.5. And I've been using the 6.5. So I'm thinking maybe this is too tall for me. So I'm going to switch back to the 6.5 to see if that helps. Because I definitely feel a strain in my neck. Like this pillow is too tall for me. I just wanted to give you a one week into the Purple 3. It's a comfortable mattress, definitely worlds better than my last mattress that I got rid of, but I'm still waiting for that complete comfortable feeling and maybe not a sore back or a sore neck. I'll keep you updated. If you do end up getting a purple mattress, I would absolutely recommend getting the purple sheets. Now, these are not the purple sheets, but during the month, I've had to change sheets a few times, right, for washing. I do notice if they're not the purple sheets, during the night, they can pop up and just come off, which makes it extra frustrating because most sheets don't go over, under like the purple sheets do. So if you remember earlier, the purple sheets go under a good 8 to 10 inches. Um, these are just typical king-size sheets, but they definitely do not fit as well as the purple sheets. 
All right, so week two, I've switched back to the Purple Hybrid 6.5. If you remember, during week one, I was using this big boy, the 7.5, and it is definitely a lot bigger than the 6.5. And so I'm blaming that extra inch as the problem with my neck. So into end of week two, my neck does not hurt at all anymore. In fact, it feels great, feels fine. I will say I do notice a pain in my lower back when I'm laying on the mattress. Now, it's not a pain whereas I can't move or, you know, it's immobilizing. It's just uncomfortable and I can tell it's there. If I move, it goes away, it comes and goes. Does that make sense? I was reading through the Purple website and they say that it takes 21 days to acclimate to a new mattress. And I'm only two weeks in, so I'm hoping over time this changes. All right, so I will say, first of all, this is the purple pillow, right? And this is the purple pillowcase that I bought. But look at this. This is kind of silly. I mean, I have a good two foot of pillowcase left over. And even on the bigger, the tall, I still have about 10 inches of, of pillowcase left over. So that's just kind of silly. But this is what I wanted to point out. Look at how nasty this is, right? So all this stuff, I don't know if that's sweat, drool, or whatever it is, but it's kind of gross. And I wash this thing every single week, and this is what it looks like. So I just wanted to point that out. These are the purple pillowcases that I bought with it, but you might want to find out maybe if you should wash yours a little more often. Maybe I should too. Um, real quick question in the comment section below. How often do you change the sheets and pillowcases on your bed? I do it every week. Do you do it that way? Maybe every two weeks? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. It is hard to believe it's already been three weeks since I've been using my Purple Hybrid Premier 3 mattress. And it has been quite the journey. Before I talk about that, I want to go into my old mattress, right? My old mattress I had for about 10 years. And no joke, every morning when I got up out of bed, I would have to either lay on the floor I would have to stretch because my back hurt so much I could barely move and that just that's the reason I bought the mattress now I noticed from day one I didn't have to do that anymore now that could be because it's a purple mattress that could be because it was just a newer mattress but I definitely felt more supported and my back didn't hurt as much as it did before now that being said I noted in week one my neck and week two my I could feel different pressure points and pain in my back Nothing that I couldn't tolerate. It didn't immobilize me. I just had to move a little bit, and that's just something I had to deal with. I did mention earlier that I started with the 7.5, the Purple Hybrid, the bigger one, and I had to switch back to the 6.5 because it put a strain in my neck. Um, so this has just been a journey for me. But I will say, by the end of week three, and that's where I am right now, I am enjoying this mattress. And it's funny because I don't know if it was psychological or what, but once I read 21 days is how long it takes to acclimate to a new mattress, I was checking the calendar. What day is this? Is this the 19th day? 20, 21 days and it feels better. It's really funny. Um, it could just be all in my head. I don't know. But I just wanted you to know that over this process, it has gotten better for me um, and I really do enjoy this mattress. I just wanted you to know that. I will do a final update at the end of week four. But I wanted you to know my journey from week one to now. It's time for my week four update right here, right now, as promised. Remember when I talked about the first 21 days and how it took me time to acclimate to the mattress? Well, over the last week and a half, it's got even better. I find that I sleep better. It's very comfortable. The mattress is very, very comfortable. I feel refreshed when I get up. And it's really important to me when I get up out of bed that I just get up and go. I don't have to stop and stretch like I did with my old mattress. I will say my wife and I compared notes, so to speak, over the last 30 days. And she says, I think I started liking it more around day 20 because, of course, it's a competition. She won, um, and it took me definitely to day 21. But she said a lot of the same things. Maybe there's some pressure points that were not so great. But now, man, I sleep great. And it's something that I think I'm really grateful that I purchased it. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of my 30-day review of the Purple Hybrid Premier 3 mattress. During this video, I alluded to my original review where I unboxed it, I set it up, and my first impressions. 
I'm just gonna link that video right up here. So if you haven't seen it, I would love it if you would click there. Now, if you have already seen that, and that's okay too, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link up here a playlist of my purple videos. That might be fun to watch, right? So go ahead, click either one of those, and by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna show up at the video with you. Go ahead, click it, they're safe, I promise.